coyote. Down here. Oh, here comes a small buck from the left. Just killed my best ever deer with a recurve. That was awesome. Came right to the decoy. I shot him at like maybe eight yards. Oh, that was so cool. I am so pumped. Oh, beautiful, beautiful deer. Just got done rattling and I had checked this out this morning. 
this is all messed up. I don't know how this got bent. Luckily, I had one of these bungee cords. I was able to bungee. And uh, I don't know what happened. I must have tore it up, but the zipper on my coat was broke. So <laughs> on my on my swamp, uh, swamp bug fest, <sighs> that was absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh, just incredible. Oh. Tacticam should be a lot of fun on that one too. Okay, so I wanna share as much of this with you as I can and kinda of show you, you know, I used to, as a younger kid, I used to get so high up in the trees and uh, I didn't realize at the time, not only does it make the angle tougher, but I remember times being 30 foot up at a tree and getting picked out and it was because I didn't have any background. Well, here's an example. I am not more than eight foot up in this tree, but the cover is just phenomenal. It's one of my favorite spots. And this deer was no more than I'm going to say 10 yards when I shot him. And I'm trying to see exactly where he was standing when I shot him. And I saw blood immediately. Well, we'll worry about that here in a second, but I'm just going to show you what I did this morning. Uh, as you can see, my bike is right there underneath the tree. I rode my bike in with the decoy on it, on the back rack, had it strapped in, got this DSD decoy, and I've got a Tacticam on here. Hopefully it got everything too, which I'm sure it did. But uh, I just got done rattling and I'd had a, a smaller buck come in earlier and he didn't want anything to do with the decoy. And then these two bucks, both of these mature bucks came in and uh, the one I wanted, he couldn't stand it. He had to come up the edge. And uh, that was a bad mistake. <laughs> that is, uh, oh my gosh. I can't tell you what it feels like to hunt with traditional equipment. It's like starting all over and it's so much fun. And I love trying to get them close anyway. And I've been practicing and practicing. I was able to get my first bear this, uh, this fall up in Minnesota. And let's see, trying to find first blood here. I'm trying to figure out for sure exactly where he was standing. I think it was right here. Yeah, right here is where I shot him. I can see where his feet kicked up when he took off. I don't think he's going to be very far. I saw him, he was already stumbling before he got out of this field, so. Shot him with a cedar shaft. I love it. All right, let's go find him. Well, I tell you what. Where he went to, I'm gonna need some help. Wyatt's on his way, so I'm gonna wait and do the recovery when Wyatt gets here. What a beautiful morning. Well, Wyatt got out here. We tracked the blood a little bit further. Here's my arrow, and there's the buck. He's right there. Oh. Oh. oh, is that beautiful or what? Boy, I've been doing a lot of practicing. I feel fortunate for that shot with a recurve. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? I've got some really good pictures of him from this summer. Or actually not the summer. It was late September, October, but I hadn't seen him since. But this was one on our list of shoot if he came by. Man, is he beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous deer. What a hunt this morning. It just doesn't get any better.